Slade Grove Creative Gourmet with us in the kitchen again. Amazing stuff that you are pulling out. Devilishly delicious desserts. Thank what you. are we making today? We're going to do a baked pear dessert. And these baked pears are so versatile. You can use them as a main course salad if you want to. For you for your lunch, mm -hmm. or you can serve them with a scoop of ice cream as a dessert. Ooh. And it's such an easy, flexible recipe. Mm. I made them with blue cheese, cranberries, and pecans. I never would have thought to put blue cheese. Oh, when it bakes with the with the flavors, it's so awesome. Oh, it if you don't delicious. like blue cheese, try gorgonzola or try goat cheese. Ooh. If you don't like cranberries, use raisins. If you don't like pecans, use walnuts or use almonds. It's so versatile that you can kind of switch it up. And it's so easy to do. Just take your blue cheese, and anybody that knows me knows I love these latte bowls from the Potter Barn. <laughs> I use them for mixing cups and everything. You do? I do. I use them for everything. Why? Why? Because they're nice they're, and big they're and you can big kind of and, and if you need a gauge. Yeah. yeah. And, if you, <laughs> and if you need to serve hot chocolate, you can. So then all you do is just mix that together. With the blue cheese and the pecans and the cranberries. And like the web, our website at slagrove.com has the recipes and snoreandliving.com has the recipes on it too. Oh, thank you for that. And I then, know all of our viewers are always anxious to get yes. our recipes, not our recipes, but your guys' recipes. And then all you have to do is just bunch it up and then fill it a pear. And these are Anjou pears that I picked up at Costco because they have a great deal on them right now. Are they like really super ripe or, I mean, does it matter? You want these. You want these a little firm. You, you don't do. want them super ripe because they get a little too mushy when they bake. Okay. And then just fill each pear. And what I did was just take the pear, I peeled it, and then I used a melon baller to core it out. And then make sure so your pears don't turn brown that you use a little bit of fresh squeezed lemon juice. Now that should go right onto the pear or and that over goes, top? It goes right onto the pear. Um, that way it keeps it from turning brown when you're working with it. And then we're going to make a quick glaze. The quick glaze is just apple juice. Make sure to use 100% real squeezed apple juice. Don't buy the stuff. That's the clear stuff. A little mm. bit of uh, Lambrusco. Mm. And I picked this up, you know, for just a couple bucks. It's so cheap to what do. What is to Lambrusco? Use. It's kind of like a table red wine. Huh. Um, okay, it's got like a this. little it's got a little fizz to it also. <laughs> um, and then mix up your your stuff in there. And then add that to some brown sugar. You're going to use about a quarter cup of brown sugar and mix that up until the sugar dissolves. And that's going to make a glaze. And you're going to pour the glaze over the pears. Then you're going to bake them in an oven for about 300, about 350 degrees, 375 degrees for about 30 minutes or so. Oh. And what you're going to end up with is this beautiful baked oh, pear dessert. Oh my goodness, oh, oh, oh. I'm getting a fork. That's what I'm. Hey, yep. hey pass I'm the fork, sister. Them down. Okay. I'm passing them down. This is incredibly simple. It's so simple. I you've thought got, it was going to be gotta, so much harder because the presentation. You just got a half a dozen ingredients and you're good to go. Okay. Um, and then, like I said, you can. Make these a week in advance, like on your Sunday, make them a week in advance. Mm. Store them in the refrigerator in Ziploc bags. Mm. Then for your lunch, if you want to make a quick salad. Terry's like this. Sorry, Terry. <laughs> oh my goodness. Then so make good. a quick salad. You can do fresh spinach greens, you can do um, field greens. To do to make the dressing, all you do is a little bit of the reserved baked glaze, mm. a little bit of lemon juice, and a little bit of EVOO or extra virgin olive oil. Toss your greens in that and then put that over the top. Or as a dessert for your special one, a little bit of ice cream in a bowl with the pear. I love that Tahitian vanilla. Can, I can hear them going. Mm. It's so versatile, and you can make you these way so in advance. They're That's nodding. The nice thing about it. They're yeah, they're like, all right, bring it on, bring it on. Oh my goodness! Well, this was so simple, so delicious. So easy to do. Slade, was he not awesome? Mm -hmm. We had such a great time today. All of these recipes on SonoraLiving.com, and I want to. Uh, Thank a fresh cut romance for the beautiful bouquet we presented yes. our extraordinary woman of color, Leah Landrum Taylor. All right, have a great weekend, everybody. We'll see you back here Monday morning at nine. Thank